Hi there everybody, it has been a hot minute since I have done an unboxing video and as you can see, I have a whole lot of stuff here, like there's stuff off camera. There is so much stuff here that I have purchased myself that has been sent to me by companies or by fans and I'm just like, oh my gosh, it is totally, totally, totally time for me to do an unboxing video. I used to do these about once a month or so, but now I've been doing it about quarterly and uh, yeah, it's kind of piled up. So let's just go ahead and get started and see all the stuff that I have. Um, I would say 90% of this stuff, I have no clue what it is. Okay, so this is from Thomas... Oh god, Thomas Shields? Thomas Shelts? I think Thomas Shields? I think? Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's find out. Oh, I'm so excited. It's like Christmas morning with these unboxings. Oh, oh, oh! I know what this is. Um, this is actually not from Thomas. This is from my friend Cutmaster. Uh, he's one of my patrons, and uh, he told me that he was going to send me Breath of Fire 2. He had this, um, he saw it on eBay, and he wanted to send it to me. So it was the eBay seller, right? This is gorgeous. Look at this box. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Oh, this is this is funny. The box is gorgeous, but the actual <laughs> the actual game holder thing has like water damage to it. And there is the game. There's no instruction manual or map or poster with it, unfortunately. Um, but man, this is gonna look great. Great on my shelf. Thank you so much, Cutmaster, for Breath of Fire 2. That is just amazing. Thank you so much so much. What do we have here? Dare- oh, this this was shipped to me, so I probably ordered this. Maybe this is something else I ordered off of eBay. I don't even know. It has been- this is the problem. Like, whenever I did it once a month, I could, like, kind of remember, but my memory is shot, and now I'm just like, I don't know what the hell I have. So- oh! I ordered this! This- I ordered this on eBay. This is Final Fantasy! The very first Final Fantasy. I had this as a kid. I got Final Fantasy whenever I was in third grade. And, oh gosh, I got this when I was third grade, and man, I haven't seen it since, really. Um, but I saw this one on eBay, and it's just glorious. And you can tell, like, like it's been resealed. They're, like, like, the box is all busted up there on the bottom. So this is a reseal, so I don't really care about, like, you know, keeping it resealed, because it's a reseal, who really cares? So I'm going to open up the seal so you can see... So you can see with your own little eyes what games used to come with back in the 1980s and what they come with now. That is to say that games nowadays come with absolutely nothing. They really don't. Oh my god, I can't get this damn thing open. Like, I want to open it, but I don't want to, like, wreck the box, you know? Let's see if I can't get these scissors to... I'm trying to, like, scissor off just the smallest corner of the thing. There it goes. There we go. There we go. Okay. Slowly getting it off. There we go. There we are. Okay, yeah. So whenever I ordered this, I knew that it wasn't going to be sealed because, you know, it showed it showed the manual, it showed the poster, it showed everything else that was in there. So whenever it came, you know, like for it to come resealed, that's so weird. That's weird. But here we go. Let's open this thing up. Okay, let's open this baby up. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so there we go. Box. And I know it was a reseal because this has a Nintendo thing, and back in the day, uh, this wasn't a Nintendo game. This was a Square game, so this wouldn't have been a Nintendo case. This would have just been a regular blank black case. So they just grabbed a Nintendo case and put that in there. It also comes with the instruction manual. Glorious. I love it. Full color. So many pictures. Maps. Has like a freaking strategy guide in there. Oh, look at this thing. This is just... This is the best. I think it takes you all the way to the Rukahan Desert. I'm pretty sure it does. It takes you all the way to the Rukahan Desert and get in the airship. Um, I had this manual growing up. It talks about the class change and everything else. This manual. Oh, so good. So good. Then we even have the posters in this one. I had to have this in my game collection. I just had to. Both posters. Oh, gosh. Oh, this is so 
great. Okay, so the posters. The backhand side of the poster has all of the enemies from the game on it, including Chaos, the final boss. The front side has the world map, the locations, the towns, all that kind of stuff. So you can really spread this out in front of you and use it as a reference while you're playing the game. It was so nice back in the day to have these things. And it also has a second poster. And Dragon Warrior 1 came with a poster similar to this. Oh gosh, this is kind of falling apart. But it is, ooh, this is a mess. But it's dungeon maps on this side. It's kind of torn out there in the bottom, but it's still pretty decent. And then on the back, it has your magical spells, your weapons, and your armor as well. Oh my gosh, this is bringing back so many great, awesome memories. How wonderful. How wonderful have here. Oh, this is something that I got from Namco Bandai. I have no idea what it is. It's been sitting there and I'm like, what in the world did they send me? Like, <laughs> I, I feel so, uh, like, what did they send me? Like, why, why do they want to bother me? No, but like, I'm super grateful, but it's just odd. Park Beyond? What is Park Beyond? What in the world is this? Ah! Okay. Ugh. Park Beyond, some sort of box, what is this? Create the park of your dreams where the imagination is the only limit collector's bundle. Okay, I've never even heard of this game. And they're sending me a collector's bundle. That is unusual. Let's see, okay, okay, wow. Let's, let's, let's open this puppy up. Oh my gosh, they have to open, this is like, those Russian dolls with all the little things opening up. Okay, so what do we got here? We have, I suppose the game, a steel, a steel case with no game inside it. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Not that I'm going to play it anyway, but thank you for Park Beyond. <laughs> oh my god, that's hysterical. Um, the art book of Park Beyond is in there as well. Um, let's see what else we got going on here. Some postcards, a poster, some stickers and whatnots for this. Let's see what else. Oh, a lanyard. Interesting. I hope there's like a digital code or something. Like, not that I care, but <laughs> what are they sending me? <laughs> here, here's a collector's edition. And it comes with a steel case, but you don't get a game. Like, what? <laughs> and this is something called the Omni Cart. I guess it's a figurine of some sort. So that is, I don't know what the, I don't know what they're thinking. They're like, okay, well, we want to send this guy, you know, this Park Beyond stuff because we have extras, but we're not going to send him the game. You know, screw him. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is funny. I'm going to have to look at this and see if there's actually like a game code or something but I can't exactly look right now. But, oh my, that is hysterical. That is just funny. Oh my gosh. Okay, put that over, let me put this over here. Oh gosh, so much stuff already and I'm not even halfway through. Let's see what we got over here, up top. This is also sent to me. Oh, I know what this is. I ordered this not that long ago. I know what this is. Just gotta open it properly. So I don't miss. Why did he put tape over the little pull tabs? Ugh, this is like when my mother wraps Christmas presents and she like makes it as hard as humanly possible to open them. Ugh, more to the school of Vincent wrapping. Vincent packing, I suppose. There we go. Okay, come on. I don't want to wreck it. There, okay. Ah. Nice, 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 nice. This better come with what I wanted it to. Put that down there. This is Nintendo Power, but it's not just any Nintendo Power. It covers Oracle of Agents and Oracle of Seasons, and it comes with a particular poster. The poster being about Dragon Warrior 3. That's why I wanted to buy this edition, because, oh, the poster's in fantastic fantastic condition because I want to hang this up right here 
in the game room. This is the poster for the Game Boy Color version of Dragon Warrior 3. How amazing. Oh, has an interview with Yuji Horii in here? Oh, I'm gonna have to read this thing cover to cover. I love it. I love, like, going back in time with this stuff. So cool. I saw this, and I saw that it had this poster in it, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to have that poster. I didn't really care about the Nintendo Power, but the Nintendo Power has some cool stuff in it. But man, that poster. What is this? This, I think I also may have ordered? I don't know. Because it's addressed to me. Whenever it's addressed to me, then I'm like, oh, I probably ordered it. Oh, I did order this one! Speaking of Dragon Quest III, doo -ba -doo -ba -doo, this was the last one that I was missing, Dragon Warrior III. This was the last entry in the four Dragon Warriors that I was missing. And I got a message over on the Instagram. And this guy was telling me, he was like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of your channel. Um, and I happen to have this copy of Dragon Warrior 3 for sale. Would you be interested? And I looked at it, and it just looked pristine. Absolutely pristine. And I'm like, yeah, yeah that would be great. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. And um, I paid him, and here we are with more Dragon Warrior 3 stuff to put up in the game. I'm running out of stuff. I'm running out of area on the wall to put uh, to put these posters and whatnots. So just like Final Fantasy comes with the game, comes with an instruction manual, which is oh, it's just uh, it's it's just to die for. It has dungeon maps inside of it. It has all of the uh, towns where to go to, where to go to next, your recommended level boss fight strategies, everything, everything. And it even, it literally like goes all the way up to the end of the game, not to spoil anything, but the, I mean, the instruction manual literally spoils it for you, that you're going into the dark world. So like this is all the way to Zoma's castle with this instruction manual. Like they used to be really, really, really good. Now you don't get anything. You don't get jack with these games. Here's the poster beauteous poster, I must say. So over here we have all of the weapons, armor, and items listed out. This side, we have the spells, we have the world map, we have all of the monsters too. Like this, oh gosh, the stuff that games used to come with. I'm telling you what, the stuff that games used to come with. Like, how, how did we let it get so bad that games no longer come with these things. What did we do as consumers to allow companies to to get away with this? You know, to to really get away with you know giving us the absolute bare minimum because that's exactly what this is. They're just giving us the bare minimum, and to me, it's completely unacceptable. If they could do it back in the 1980s, when production and you know transport costs and everything was so much more difficult to do than it is today, why can't they do it now? It's just, it's just laziness, it's cash grabbiness, it's greed, it's greed. Next thing, I bought this myself. This is the collector's edition of Trails into Reverie. And this is still sealed, and it is going to stay sealed, and it's going to join my other sealed copies right back there of Azure and Zero. Ooh, right there. Azure and Zero I have back there, and Reverie is going to join them. I have the uh, digital code, I got a review code for Reverie, so I've already played and beaten that. So I see no reason to open up that collector's edition. That's just going to stay there as like a little nice thing for me. Now, what do we have here? What is this? What is this? I don't know what this is. Let's find out. <laughs> oh, let's find out. Let's find out. Maybe once I open it up, I'll know what it... Oh! I know what this is. So, I got an email. Well, let me get this out of here first. There we go. Get this over here. Make a big old mess. I got an email from... Oh, my God. From a company a while back... I'd never heard of them in my life. And 
they were like, hey, you know, we really like your content. We'd love to send you like a gift box or something. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Why not? Sure, whatever. You can send me whatever it is you want to send me. You know, who am I to say no? So here it is. It is Waven. They sent me a gift box for, or like a press box, I suppose, for Waven. Oh, look at this. Let me see if I can't put it. Yeah, there we go. So you open it up. This is glorious. Look at that. That's so cool. This is really cool. What else do we have in here? Your high seas kit is here. Lift the hatch and enjoy. Oh my god, I have like no room. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. What is this? I don't know what this thing is. This is cool. I don't know what this thing is. What is this? Oh, that's neat. This is stay Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, lift the hatch and stay lifted. That's your job. You have one job. You lift the hatch and you stay. Stay. This is stained glass. Look at that. That's cool. I'm gonna hang this in the window and let like the sun, you know, come through it. That's beautiful. That's real stained glass. Yeah, lift the hatch and enjoy. If you would stay lifted, that would be great. <laughs> we have some pins, some little character pins right there. These waving characters. Oh, how... it's staying lifted, oh my God. Um, what is this? Ah! <laughs> Not for long. This is some, 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 some little stickers of the characters. We have badges of the characters, stickers of the characters. This is the High Seas Kit, it says. New Original Universe. What is this? Welcome to Wave Game Modes. So this is a game. If, if this looks cool to you, turn-based combat. Who knew? Okay, cool. So yeah, turn-based combat game with like a stained glass theme. That's neat. That is neatsy weetsy petitsies, if I do say so myself. Oh gosh, there's like an art of waving book in here? Oh, there's... Wait, we'll deal with the... You know what? I wonder if this book... Thank you! Okay, so... <laughs> this is a little... Oh! This is a, um... A letter. It says to Schaefer Island. There's some writing on the back right there. Over here more writing more letters greetings from tofu island so i guess this takes place on the various different islands and you sail around you do turn-based combat oh these are like sealed notes and stuff this is this is something else this is neat this is neat i'm gonna put a link to this waving thing in god look at this look at this this is a lot. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Waven. Thank you so much. Um, I'm gonna put a link to Waven in the video description if y'all are interested in this to, to maybe check it out. This is cool. Lots and lots of stuff in here. This is real. this is like above and beyond. I had no idea. Oh my gosh. They were all, all they said was like, hey, we want to send you something for Waven. And I'm like, oh, whatever. I didn't think it was gonna be this cool. This is really nice. Thank you. Oh my god. Where can I put this? Here for right now. I need more room. I was at the game store the other day and I saw some strategy guides because that's my thing. I love a good strategy guide. And I got the strategy guide for Final Fantasy V Advance. I already have the one for the PlayStation version, the Final Fantasy V and VI compilation um, together, but I wanted to get the Advance version for Final Fantasy V. I bought the Nintendo DS strategy guide for Final Fantasy IV and the Eternal Sonata strategy guide as well, just because I'm missing all of those strategy guides. And I saw them and I was like, eh, why not? I'll pick them up. Why not? What is this? This is from Fan Gamer Mailroom. Okay. I don't know. If I did these once a month, then I would know, but it's been like three months. I have no idea what this is. I have no idea what this is. Oh my gosh, let's find out. Let's see. Fan Gamer. What is Fan Gamer? Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. Oh! I remember talking about this. This is Tunic. This is Tunic. I remember talking about this and saying, hey, I really want to order this. 
And, uh, yeah, I did. And it come- oh, it came- oh, what is this? Oh, it's like a little fan game or stickers or something, I guess, that comes with every single order. But, yeah, this is cool. It's like a little reflective box. It's actually a cardboard box, so it might have something else inside of it. I thought that I spent, like, $45 and I got some sort of, uh, collector's edition thing with this. But, again, it's been forever since I ordered this. But, yeah, it's Tunic. I heard good things about this game, but I also heard that it's incredibly difficult. And I already have issues with Zelda-likes, let alone a difficult Zelda-like, so, uh, we'll see about that. This is from Jim Dow. Jim is coming to Las Vegas uh, in a couple of months, and he's going to visit me, and he sent me an email message. He was like, hey, I'm coming to Vegas. You know, I know that you live in Vegas. Would it be possible to, like, meet up? And I'm like, yeah, you know, I, I, I love meeting up with fans. I think it's really, really fun. So I told him, I was like, you know, we can go to the game store, we can grab lunch, we can do whatever. And he was like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to send you a little something. And he did, and he sent me the Pixar Remasters for Switch. Thank you so much, Jim. That is so kind of you. That's so cool. That's so cool. I think that he ordered this one off of Play Asia because... Lord knows you can't get the American versions. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. And I cannot wait to meet you in person in, oh, about a month or so, I think he's coming. About a month or so. Let's see what we got here. What is this? Like, no, li oh, what is this? Oh, Serenity Forge. Serenity now. No, that's, that's Seinfeld. Oh, this one has peanuts. Well, that's a vacuum that I have to do. Lovely. Remember I opened up that Persona 5 one one time, and it had, like, confetti inside of it? Like, I had confetti all over my room for ages. Oh my god, I can't believe all these peanuts. They're gonna drive me crazy. I hate messes, and I hate messy things, and there's peanuts, and yikes. Peanuts, and yikes, and yikes, and peanuts. This. Yeah. This. <laughs> Sword and Fairy Together Forever Premium Collector's Edition. Awesome. I'm going to put a link in the video description for ordering this as well. I saw that Emily at Orbology got this and opened it up. I saw that Super Derek got this and opened it up. And I was like so jealous. I was like, oh my God, I want one too. Oh my God, I want one too. And so I literally, I just left a comment. I left a comment on Emily's um, YouTube video. And all I said was like, oh my God, that's so cool. I'm super jealous. Lo and behold, the next day I get an email from Serenity Forge and they're like, we didn't mean to leave you out, David. If you want one, you can have one. And I'm like, yes, please. I really want one. Yes. <laughs> so they sent me one. How cool is that? I didn't like, who knew? I was just, I was just being a little, you know, a little baby over on her, over on her page and being like, I want one too. And then, man, they're so kind. They sent me this. How amazing is that? I can get this thing out. Oh my gosh. There we go. That's better. There we go. Okay, so there's the box. A box and another box. Let's open up this box if I can figure out how to. I guess it goes down. Oh, there it goes. There we go. I figured it out. There we go. <gasps> so we have this cute little like cabbage radish guy he's totes adorbs i must say i'm gonna take him out of the plastic he's 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 too cute for the plastic i don't want him to suffocate he needs to come out of the plastic get out because he needs to be on my shelf looking at all of y'all all the time because he's adorable look at him he's a oh my god i can hang him i can hang him like i hang up the kirby and the boo and the stuff He's cutesy with the tootsies. He has leaf ears. I can't even deal with that. That's cute. Then we have this. Oh, oh, I thought it was a poster. What is this? Is this like a, a mat of some sort? It is. Yeah. This is a mouse pad. Awesome. Sword and Parry together forever. Beautiful, beautiful mouse pad. I love this. That's beautiful. I have a Dragon Quest mouse pad. 
on my right hand side, I might have to put this one on my left hand side. I have mouse pads all over the place. Then we have what is this? This is the okay, we'll put in this box. Oh, 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 look at this. Oh my god, get out. This is little cards, playing cards. It says Journey, Heaven, and Earth. How nice. We have a soundtrack in here too, if I could get it out. There it goes. There's the there's the soundtrack right there. So cool, so nice. These are beautiful. There's also some little character cards as well. Um, if y'all could see the mess that is happening right now. I don't like messes, but there's definitely messes happening over here. I'm gonna have to clean up this room for like an hour after this. But these are like little postcards with character artwork on them. How pretty. So pretty. And then this one. Do I open it this way? I don't think so. I think I open it this way. This must be the game. It is. It's the game in the steel. Oh. So we have the actual game itself in the normal, in the normal cover. But then here, this is the steel. Oh, God. It's like this powder blue. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love it. Thank you so much. Thank this is like Christmas morning. I'm telling you what. This is like some Christmas morning stuff right here. Let me put this down here. I'll have to rebox all that stuff up. Let's put this with this. So I just have everything in order. And now my last box is huge <laughs> dragging it over here man this is where's the, where's the address is there an address on this box or something okay, just have it. but i know who this is from i think i think 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 let me see i yeah i know what this is this is from Expensive Foreigner, who watches me a lot over on the Twitch, as a member of my Discord channel, comments a lot on YouTube channels and all that. He lives over in Japan, and he sent me a message, and he was like, I want to send you, like, a Japanese, like, gift box or whatever. And I'm like, okay, that's great. Like, and he sent me, because I saw the thing, and it said, like, Air Japan. So I'm like, that, that's got to be the thing from Air Japan. It's got to be. So I'm like, this is, oh, my God. So... Oh, that's cute! It's a slime, and I think that this is like what you sit on if you have hemorrhoids. And it's a slime to sit on for hemorrhoids. <laughs> that's adorable! If this is not for hemorrhoids and I'm completely making that up, let me know. But like, I can't possibly think of what else could possibly be for. Like, it's one of those circular pillows that you sit on for hemorrhoids. <laughs> Oh my god, that's hysterical. That's hysterical. He sent me Kit Kats, because he knows I like Kit Kats. Caramel pudding Kit Kats. Uh, which one is this? It doesn't, I, I, this is not in English? I don't know what this is. This one isn't in English. I'm not really sure what flavor that is. I'll have to try them out. This also isn't in English. I'm going to guess mint flavored Kit Kats. That's, that's my guess, mint. So I would guess maybe this is like, I don't know, wheat? I see like wheat on there, a wheat flavored Kit Kat. This is caramel pudding because that's in English so I know what that one is. <laughs> what do we got here? A melon Kit Kat, that's, that's, that's different. That's completely different, cantaloupe Kit Kats there. Banana caramel, that sounds absolutely delicious if I do say so myself. What is this? Cookies and cream, yumsities, yumsity bumsity. Love cookies and cream. Second only cookie dough. Two cookies and cream. Interesting. Okay. I guess he knew that I liked cookies and cream, so he got me two of them. What is this? This is again that wheat flavor. I don't know which one that is, but thank you. Oh god. Oh no, there's one more Kit Kat down here. I can't even tell what's in here. Oh, strawberry. I, I can definitely tell that that's a strawberry Kit Kat. <laughs> Oh, what else? What else? What is this? This is 
I guess it's chocolate. This is, or maybe it's a gummy. I feel like it's a gummy. This is some sort of Super Mario candy, and I thought it was chocolate because Mario looks like he's chocolate. But I'm feeling the bag, and it feels like a gummy. So I'm guessing that's like a gummy candy of some sort. This, what is this? Oh, it's a booklet. This is, it says Habit Tracker. Dragon Quest Habit Tracker. So it's like a diary of some sort. And it's Dragon Quest themed. Because he knows that I like Dragon Quest. It's my favorite series of all time. So he's like, yeah, let's get you some Dragon Quest. He got me. Ah, he got me a Dragon Quest figurine. This thing's huge, too. I'm going to have to put him on that shelf back there. He is enormous. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Golly. Good Lord. Him up there. Oh. Uh, Psychic then oh no 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 this is Psychic Dead Set Two Three this is Secret of Mana this is let me put this box down here this is Secret of Mana but the Japanese version of Secret of Mana and it's kind of sealed up but I want to see what comes in like a Super Famicom um, box as opposed to um, you know a Super Nintendo box. I could get this thing out of plastic. Oh god, there we go. There we go. Much better. Much better. Much better. Let's see. What do we have here? What did they get in Japan versus what we get in America? Wow, their guides are so small. So there's the box. Right there. And then there's the cartridge. There's the cartridge right there. Not really any artwork on the cartridge either. I'm surprised. It's mostly white. I think they have like a mana tree or something. But the mana tree is here on the cover. If you're wondering why it says two, um, the actual first Secret of Mana was what we knew as Final Fantasy Adventure on the Game Boy, or I believe it was titled as Mystic Quest over in Europe. Um, that's actually Psychic and Setsu 1. So yeah, they just got an instruction manual. I think that we got a poster too. I'm surprised that they got less in Japan than what we got here in America. That's interesting to me. Oh, there's two. Ugh. Two more things. Okay, there we go. Two more things. Oh, how nice. These are, I don't know what these things are. These are cute. These are like two little Dragon Quest things. I'm gonna open up one of these. Open up one and we'll figure out what this is. If I can get this thing open. Let's see. There it goes. Goes. I think that these are like stackable boxes or something. It has this little picture of a castle or something. Then it has little Dragon Quest enemies inside of this. Looks like it's a King Metal Slime. Yeah, it's a King Metal Slime and it's a mimic. And I guess you put them inside the little box and they're, I don't know, fighting each other or something. And then you put the little castle thing as like a, a, a little background diorama thing. That's cool. Thank you so much to everybody for everything that's surrounding me in this catastrophe mess that I'm sitting in. <laughs> But yeah, this is like Christmas morning. This is so cool. Thank you all so much for everything. I'm just overwhelmed. I'm humbled. I'm just overwhelmed by the outpouring of love and support and everything. Thank you so much for this. And uh, have a good day. And I'll see you at the next unboxing video.